three of Coda Drupal Design. In this part, we are going to coat up the footer and add some finishing touches like a box shadow underneath the search bar, which I think will make it pop. And we're also going to do some media queries so that it's more responsive. And that's really it. All right, thank you for joining me. We currently have uh, from the end of episode two, and this is where we're gonna get. So as you can see, like I said, there's a box shadow there. We have these at the bottom, and let's see how responsive it is. So there you can see this, the search bar uh, decreased in width, and then it decreases more in width, and it becomes stackable, which is fine for our purposes. And then these also become stackable. Okay, and I tried to stay true. I kind of, I just <laughs> Googled gray logos. It's pretty easy. Just grabbed the gray ones. And those will also be in the Google Drive folder. So if you're following along, you're coding with me, uh, you can access them and then just uh, drop them into your IMG folder, like I will do in a second. Because, you know, they also kind of had gray ones here. Companies we've helped. Companies we've helped. Let's start coding. On the index. And I actually, I grabbed six different logos that are going to go in our footer. And I will, like I said before, put them in the Google Drive in like a logo folder. So I'm just gonna, I got them on my desktop, I'm just gonna drag them into image. Eh, they look like that. Okay, cool. So let's start putting in our footer. So we're down here, and I'm gonna put them in a row, just like I did above, so that it's responsive. And I'm actually, I'm gonna divide this row into, I got ahead of myself, a two divs with the class uh, call md6 and then within the second six I'm going to divide that into further columns and on this side I'm going to have an h6 just like in um, the the like the basically the image that we're coding from it actually says uh, in the footer on the, on the left companies We've helped build. And it's kind of silly because one of the logos is Google. Like, they helped build Google. But you never know. Maybe they did. <laughs> That'd be a claim to fame. Okay. So in here, I'm going to have my first div with the class call md2. Okay. And then within here, I'm going to have my image. And I'm going to give it the class uh, partner logo. Block. Close that out, and then let's find the image. So source dot slash image. I'm just gonna grab the first one, and then I if I this was a real website, I would give each image a different alt tag, just saying like what uh, the logo was. But I'm just gonna call them all partner logo, and then I'm just gonna copy that. Uh, we know we have six of these, so I'll copy that six times, five times. So now we have three, four, five, six, and then let's relink them. Dash slash IMG, second one. And I just grabbed, I looked up um, gray logos to get these. And this one, is that one. Yeah, I didn't repeat myself to All right, I'm gonna pull up the um, document we have so far, and then we're also gonna put the box shadow on our search in a moment. Refresh, and okay, the, the logos are huge. Okay, so we'll adjust that in a moment. First thing I wanna grab is I actually, I got this, it's cssmatic.com slash box shadow, and I put a box shadow around it, so I'm actually just gonna copy this box shadow code and paste it in to our, um, basically where the search bar is happening. So behind the white and behind the purple. Close the image and let's get the styles. So I just copied the box shadow uh, information that I got from that website and I tinkered with it to get the right box shadow. And then I'll paste that in there. Tab. There we go. Tab over. And then I also want it behind purple background. I don't know, I, I like everything to be aligned. It's kind of silly, okay. If it wants to click, there you go. Tap that, tap that. 
Okay, let's save that and see what we have. I like that. Cool. All right, so now let's fix this footer up a bit. So I'm actually going to do what I did last time, open them side by side. Great. Just for one second. So the first thing is you could see those logos were huge. So I'm going to go and select them. I call them partner logo. And I'm going to give them a width of 100%. Great. And then let's see. So basically, I also want everything to have a top margin. So in each of my column sixes down here, I'm also going to give a footer margin class. You can also apply this to the footer itself, I feel. Um, but I'm going to adjust the margin later on. I don't think it matters, but I just felt like doing it this way. Save that. We'll go here. So as you can see, it was right up touching um, where we had our header before. And the footer margin, I'm going to give it margin top of 60 pixels. And I also want padding on either side. I don't want it on the top and bottom, so I'm going to have zero pixels there. And I want left and right padding to be 40 pixels. Okay. Now maybe we can look at what it looks like. Okay, I have it right behind. Cool. Much better. So I think... So that's weird, because they're not going side by side. So I wonder why that's happening. Oh, okay, I did not. So I have my column MDs too. But as you could tell, I forgot to put a div. <laughs> not okay, a div with the class of row. So that was a rookie mistake. Sorry about that. So let's see where this last column closes. There. And then let's tab that over. Let's grab, oops, I'm going to close out of styles for a second. Just so. Okay, let's grab all of these columns. Now I'm just going to, oop, tab them to the side. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now they're all floating. And I like that. That looks great. And then, as we can see, um, this search bar at this uh, view is doing some wonky things. And then these are huge. So we want to fix all of that with the media queries. So let's get our styles back going. Split screen. And we're mostly going to be working with our styles. So what we're going to do is we're going to add media queries. And you put these at the bottom because uh, CSS reads bottom up. So this will actually override the rest of the styling, but only at I think it reads bottom up. I could be wrong. Uh, please correct me in the comments if I am wrong. Um, to the best of my knowledge, that's what's going on, and that's why this overrides. But it could be reading. Yeah, I, I think that would make sense. So we're going to get search bar again. And at um, up to 650 width, I know that I want search bar, to, instead of having a width of 600 like it has before, I want the new width to be 450 pixels. And actually, I'm going to copy this again because I fiddled with this a little bit. And I know that at 800 pixels, I still want the width to change, but not as drastically. So I want it to be 600 there. So that's our search bar. And then for the subtitle, um, it gets hidden under the search bar otherwise. So I want to change, increase the margin top to 200 pixels. And then I also want to decrease the size of the partner logo and adjust them a bit. So the new width, I want it to be 20%. And then I want to change the margin to, I think I want to center them, yeah. So I'm, I'm making them centered. And then in order to center them as well as changing that to zero auto, I want to make sure they're displaying block. And then I do want to give them a little bit of a top padding. So. It's going to be 20 pixels. Don't want a bottom, uh, I mean, don't want a right and left padding, so I'm going to leave that zero. And then last thing, last thing, oh my god, footer margin. I want to text align everything center, because I think that looked good. And then I want to decrease the margin top to 20 pixels. 
So I think before it was 60. So let's see what this looks like now. That looks much better. And then we have all of our logos at the bottom. Cool. I think that this project is done. I hope you're happy with it. I'll make sure to include everything that I said in the show notes below. Thanks for going on this journey with me. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, and look forward to more series ahead. Thank you again. Have a great day. Bye.